Hi everyone, so there is nothing I like more than having a bit of extra time just to give the skin a good clean and just spend some time trying to perk it up and keep it in good condition. One of my favourite products um, that I love to use and I talk about it a lot is the Nanoya and it's the cleansing balm and as you can see it's getting quiet going over here. Um, it's just fantastic. It's an Irish product uh, created by Nicola Connolly and it contains a uh, fantastic rainforest or two signature rainforest ingredients which are Sacha Inchi and Maracuja. So in a nutshell basically these contain uh, vitamins which are A, C and E but particularly E which is needed to hydrate uh, and moisturise the skin and particularly good for skin that tends to be dry or more uh, prone to flare-ups. Also, which is good with the Sancha Inchi is the essential uh, omegas of three, six, and nine. Um, any of you who follow my nutrition page you know I go on with new, uh, omega three all the time. Particularly good for uh, the skin, keeping the skin and its protective barrier intact. So the cleansing balm has an almond uh, active formula, which means it kind of goes uh, from a cleansing balm into a milk when mixed with water. Um, for me, I generally um, I naturally have a dry skin. So I tend to just dampen the skin that I have here with a with, uh, face cloth and then I pop some of this balm out. It's absolutely fabulous um, in texture and it's simply gorgeous um, in terms of its smells as well. Um, so literally look at anything, it's on cleansed um, skin. So as I said, I just use my um, face towel here to just um, dampen down the skin. It's warm, it's not scalding hot. And for me, um, especially when I get out of the shower, the skin is uh, tight, probably due to a little bit of dehydration, so that's the skin condition. But my skin type would generally be a dry, uh, a dry skin type. So when it comes to the cleansing balm, it's something I really, really love to put on the skin. So generally for me, I kind of just work it around um, all the skin first, just to get it kind of evenly distributed. Um, and at the same time, just take it in the smells. So regardless of whether I use this in the morning time or the night time, it's just immediately uh, an association with the smells. Very, very good for relaxing and kind of just unwinding as well. Or uh, in a morning, uh, nice when you have a little bit of time just to give yourself a kind of a nice little um, massage as well. So um, when I use it, I also use it for... Um, uh, makeup removal so if I have a day maybe where I'm doing a lot of video work and I have a lot of makeup on it's really really good for that night um just to work onto the skin and dissolve all of that oil and the grime um particularly around here I tend to get a lot of my congestion so I can be prone to some kind of spots um and it's literally just where the pores just become a little bit blocked when I'm wearing when I'm wearing the makeup so um really just work on the skin it's not as if i have a, like a magic um a magic way of kind of massaging the skin sometimes it's just kind of where i need it so again if you're prone to tension in the forehead i spend a little bit of time just kind of massaging out the muscles here and just relaxing really really good for the temples and really really good for relaxation and um, here is a great little point as well i find really really good and relaxing i'm kind of just working the product around here and it's just a chance to just take a minute and unwind. Um, equally then I kind of move around the eye area. Again, underneath the eye can be prone to a lot of kind of toxin buildup and kind of lymph buildup. Um, so again, what we want to do is kind of just keep that flowing. And always when I'm massaging, trying to move outwards to the lymph nodes here at the ear and draining downwards as well. So it's kind of part of the lymphatic drainage process. When it comes to the cheeks, um, I generally try to give them a little bit of a a massage, move around, particularly if you're prone, you know, um, are worried or concerned about kind of fine lines and wrinkles, kind of just getting some, some circulation going on in the face and just some movement then as well. Particularly around here, for a lot of us um, women, we're prone to a bit of congestion around here. Um, and it's just, again, keeping everything moving, circulating, a massage as well. A lot of us can hold our tension just around top of the upper lip. A lot of us can hold our tension here on the jawline. So again, it's focusing on those areas, particularly if you're a nighttime grinder or a biter, you might find sometimes just along the jawline here can be quite sore in the morning if you have been grinding your teeth at night. Um, so again, it's just handy just to spend some time here just to loosen out the muscle, loosen out the tension.
and if you know this is where you keep your or hold your tension it's a good place to kind of focus so generally when I have the cleansing balm massaged in, I can take it off then with the face towel, I tone and I moisturise. Sometimes however if I feel my skin needs it, um, particularly at night time after I've, I've cleansed the skin once, I might just leave um, a little bit of the balm on and kind of use it as an extra mask and then maybe wipe it off in about a half an hour. Just depends on what my kind of skin needs. Um, but as I say this is fantastic. It's fantastic for all skin types but particularly if you have a dry skin type um, or a skin type that's prone to flare ups you can work with it in a lot of extra ways like leaving it on as a mask or just working into a nice massage and um, again just to reinforce the barrier and to reinforce hydration then as well another thing which you have seen me used uh, particularly over um, the past few months um, is this um, the jade stone as well um, I find it really really good it's kind of like a gua sha technique just for kind of increasing that stimulation and drainage along the skin so you can see it's different points and um, wider point really good for kind of the cheek here kind of just circulation moving outwards you have your smaller little indentations then to help you kind of just improve that circulation around the eye particularly if you're prone to kind of darker circles it's just kind of moving that deoxygenated blood out and under the eye to brighten up particularly here if you hold stress along the brow bone it's really really good just for releasing any tension again you can use the flat part all down the side and then I do use the indentation myself for here just for any kind of stress tension along the jawline so really really good just to kind of help move everything along and to obviously break down any connective tissue and just keep the muscles kind of relaxed as well so there's still just some tips on using uh, the Nanoya uh, superfood cleansing balm um, what I also will say about the packaging, the pack packaging is fantastic, but the quantity is really good. It's really good value for money. It comes in at 59. Um, it's available online on the store and we also have it as part of the gift set that Anoya had just launched um, before Christmas. I do have some left in stock. Um, and again, it's a really good addition, particularly for winter skin. Um, if you have a dry skin type, if you're suffering from dehydration and you just need some kind of superfood just to kind of pep up your skin. So it's a real good all rounder. So thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.